This video lecture is going to give you the basics about methods. We've been using them for a couple of weeks now and it's time to get some facts down. We're going to start with what a class and an object is. A class is a programmer defined data type. It can be a string, a graphical window, or a Finch robot. We haven't done a lot with strings, but remember when you learned how to draw pictures, you had to do a you had to create an object for that graphical window, that, that canvas, and that was a class. It was an object of a class. And also in our Finch robots, we're going to be a Finch robot as a class, and we use an object from that class. An object is an instance or value of a class type. It represents a value with a certain specific behavior, which is defined by the class. All methods are defined in a class. And we've been using functions a lot, so we're going to compare a method with a function. A function is a sequence of statements that can be invoked or called multiple times with different values for its parameter variables. The function is defined anywhere in the code editor. It has a name and is defined. It can have parameters or not. It can return a value or not. It can be called at any time, and it is not dependent on an object. So we use functions just regardless of what other objects we might have in our program. A method is also a sequence of statements that, like a function, can be invoked or called any number of times with different values for its parameter variables. So really, they are the same thing. They're a section of code. It is defined in a class, so that's going to be a little bit different. But it has a name and is defined. It can have parameters. It can return a value. and can be called at any time after it is important, after it is imported. So right away, everything is the same about a function and method, except that a method is defined in a class, and a function is just defined in the code editor. More about methods. Methods can only be applied to an object of the type for which it is defined. For example, string variables are from a string class. They have methods that can only be applied for string variables and not for integer or float variables. Finch objects are from the Finch class. They have methods that can only be applied to objects from this class and not any other variables. This is some information from your textbook. The behavior of an object is given through its methods. A method like a function is a collection of programming instructions that carry out a particular task. But unlike a function, which is a standalone operation, a method can only be applied to an object of the type for which it was defined. So a method is very specific for each type of object because it defines or it explains its behaviors. A function call can take place anywhere and at any time. It is not dependent on an object. For void function calls, remember that you just have the name of the function in parentheses, such as main or twirl. Return function calls also use parentheses, and it has to be part of a statement like print, display results, and value equals get answer. And these show examples with parameters and this one without. Method calls, first you have to have the object or module is imported into your code. Then a method can be called anywhere and at any time, but it is dependent on an object. So what that means is when you call that method, you have to say what object you're going to be using it for. For void or return methods, either one, you have to use a dot notation. The method name follows the object name, so you're going to have object name dot method name. The dot separates the names. So here's an example. Bird is our object. Temperature is our method. So I have bird dot temperature. And I have to have the parentheses. Here's some examples of method calls using the string class. Now we haven't really used the string class a lot in class, but it is a, a way to show you an example of a class object with its method. So here we have a variable that's a string variable name. And upper is a string method. So I have to have name dot upper, object dot method. And I have to have the parentheses. This is going to return a value to my variable uppercase. Here's another example. This is also part of a statement. So it's also a return method. Name is my object. Lower is my method. Name dot lower. And it's part of a print. 
Here's examples of method calls using our Finch robot. So first I have to declare an object from the Finch class, and I use this as my object. So bird.halt and bird.temperature. My object name must come first, and then the method comes after it. So I have to use my dot notation anytime I have a method. Object.method, and I have to have my parentheses. It's not going to give you an error if you don't have the parentheses, but it's not going to call the method either. So absolutely nothing happens and you won't really kind of realize what's going on so look for those parentheses. Things to remember about methods. You have to import the module that with the class that contains those methods. You're always going to use dot notation for a method call. The name of the object comes first, the name of the method comes last, and the dot separates the names. You must end a method call with parentheses. Oftentimes you will have arguments inside the parentheses, but not always. You can have arguments, but it doesn't have to, and a method can return a value, but it doesn't have to. If you take a look at halt, that's not returning anything, that's a void method, and you look at temperature, that's going to be a return method. So I hope this little video lecture was helpful in giving you some more information about methods.